Good day, I'm Rick Hill from Ballast Tools Equipment and today we're introducing the BTE 3000 Mini Tie Changer. First let me uh, introduce what this machine does. It's a uh, mini tie changer that's capable of extracting and inserting railway ties. It's a very easy machine to learn to run. It uh, has just three levers and uh, that control all the functions from lifting up the uh, boom to extracting the uh, main cylinder which pushes out or pulls in ties. Some of the features of this machine are its pivots that uh, we enable on the extraction jaws system, the claws, and the uh, spring-loaded cylinder which alleviates the stresses on the machine of pulling in heavy ties. One of the other features is we have a guide plate if we have ties that hit the rail when you're trying to insert them you can put this guide plate in and the ties will contact that plate and be guided underneath the rail for ease of installation. Another feature we have is our pull plate when we pull ties in for the last few feet we can uh, use that pull plate to pull in the tie as opposed to uh, pulling it with the grabbers it makes it for a lot more even pull. One of the other features of this machine is we run it from a power unit. We recommend mat weld as we've built the platform to accommodate the size of that power pack, but it enables us to have a removable power pack for ease of off tracking and it gives the ability to the operators to run other hydraulic tools from this power source as well. We have just three controls so anybody can learn to operate the machine and those three functions are in and out of our main cylinder, up and down with our boom, and squeeze with our grippers. One of the other features of this unit is its power. It has a very aggressive grippers which will grab most ties and it also has 3,000 pounds squeeze pressure, 19,000 pounds extraction pressure, and 10,000 insertion. As far as maintenance goes on the BTE 3000, there are several things to look over. First of all, on the mat weld power unit that we use, there's several daily checks that you would want to uh, check out. Uh, first one is the dipstick to make sure that there's enough oil in the reservoir of the engine. Second is the uh, hydraulic level, and that uh, can be viewed by a sight glass on the hydraulic tank and should be topped up if it's low. The other thing that uh, we need to check on is the um, uh, periodic changes of the uh, air and fuel and uh, oil filters. And coming over to this side, we um, should have periodic inspection of the uh, quick couplers to make sure that they release and quick couple easily and don't leak. Good. To start the mat weld power unit to enable the tie changer to work, you would first flip on the ignition. Make sure your dials for the hydraulic flow are both in the off position. And if it's being run for the first time that day, pull the choke lever to help assist the start. And then once it's started, you can push in the choke lever and it should stay running. And then turn on your dials. And that enables the tie changer to work. As I mentioned in the earlier piece, we do have full mobility rotation with all of the different uh, controls here of our grabber system. And to keep that functional, you do need to grease it in several spots, both down here on each, all of the pins that help it rotate and the jaws as well. And that'll keep everything loose and able to grip the tie and move the right way to uh, hold the unit onto a tie. 